Like Blaine, the city of Faribault continues to implement several priority projects. One was designed to improve the image of Faribault to both local residents and business prospects. The result was an integrated marketing campaign to promote Faribault as a great place to live and work under the theme, Small Town Pride, Big City Opportunities. The branding campaign tells the city's story in such venues as print, a website, a DVD, and on banners throughout the city. The city also provides an economic development toolbox of information and resources to help existing businesses thrive and new businesses relocate to Faribault. In this world of um, sales, of selling ourselves, I believe that our existing businesses are our best ambassadors for us as our existing customers in any of our businesses are our best ambassadors. It's the word of mouth that travels throughout the, com the community that is better than any advertising that any of us could ever do. The BR&D survey of business owners in Faribault also revealed a strong desire to improve its physical appearance. This resulted in another priority project that proved tremendously popular with the public as well as with businesses. Hundreds of volunteers of all ages joined together over several years to clean up and plant trees and flowers along main roads and city streets. Independent sales contractor Lynn Erickson played a major role in the beautification project. I think the appearance of a city is important. When I think about all of the um, when I think about some of the cities that I go into that are really n nice looking and have flowers and nice bridges and nice lighting and things like that, I think that's important for people to be proud of their community. I think it's important for businesses to um, enjoy the, the flowers and when they're driving or when people are walking and things like that and that's why I think that that is important for economic development. In another priority project, Faribault sought to better engage new immigrant populations and minority-owned businesses with the wider community. And I can't say that we made tremendous strides there, but we did crack the door open a little bit and what did happen is that our Welcome Center and our Diversity Coalition took on more of a business approach.